Chapter 2. What is a flexitarian diet? Welcome to our channel. Food is medicine. You are what you eat. The flexitarian diet is a pattern of eating that focuses primarily on plant-based foods and allows consuming meat and other animal products in moderation. This diet is more flexible than a vegetarian or vegan diet. Therefore, if a person intends to include more plant foods in their diet without eliminating meat consumption, then following a flexitarian diet may be ideal for such a person. Flexitarians consume mostly plant-based meals and occasionally consume animal products. The concept of the flexitarian diet is a combination of two words, flexible and vegetarian, while a diet is simply a way of eating. The underpinning behind the flexitarian diet makes it a more flexible approach to vegetarianism. Thus a person can still reap the benefits of focusing on the intake of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, without eliminating animal products, including steak and burgers. History and Origin of Flexitarian Diet The American dietitian, Don Jackson Blattner, originated the flexitarian diet in 2008. The term flexitarian is a combination of flexible and vegetarian. The diet focuses on vegetarianism's potential and environmental benefits but follows a flexible approach that permits people to eat moderate amounts of meat and other animal products. By allowing an average intake of meats and other animal products, the diet is less restrictive and allows more variation, making it easier to follow or stick to the diet. The flexitarian diet may be a suitable alternative for people wishing to include more plant-based foods in their diet without eliminating the intake of meat. Dietitian Don Jackson Blattner produced the flexitarian diet to enable people to experience the benefits of a vegetarian diet while still eating animal products in moderation. It is why the name of this diet is a fusion of the words, flexible and vegetarian. Typically, vegetarians eliminate the consumption of meat and some other animal products, while vegans eliminate meat, eggs, fish, dairy, and all animal-derived food products from their diet. Thus, since flexitarians can eat animal products, they're not considered vegetarians or vegans. The flexitarian diet has no specified rules or stipulated amounts of calories and macronutrients, and it is more of a lifestyle than a diet. Nonetheless, flexitarian diets are semi-vegetarian diets that permit the occasional addition of animal products or meat within a plant-based meal plan. Historically, the term flexitarian, a fusion of flexible vegetarian, was coined by Don Jackson Blattner, a registered dietitian who published the first flexitarian diet book in 2010, using a popular publisher in medical education. Other terms have been used for the flexitarian diets, such as reducitarianism and vegetarianism, which all refers to the goal of reducing meat intake and consuming more plant-based food, since diet is still essentially plant-based. Several vegetarians also call themselves flexitarians since they consume some form of animal protein in their diets. Below are some of the vegetarians who are called flexitarians. A proletarian is a vegetarian who consumes poultry and plant-based foods but does not eat fish or red meat. A pescatarian, vegetarian eats fish, seafood, and plant-based foods but restricts poultry and red meat intake. An ovo-vegetarian, vegetarian who eats eggs and plant-based products. A lacto-vegetarian, vegetarian who consumes milk, other dairy products and plant-based products. A pes-politarian is a vegetarian who eats both seafood and poultry and plant-based foods but doesn't eat meat from mammals. Several types of semi-vegetarian diets existed for many years, but they were not known as flexitarian until the emergence of Jackson Blattner's book in 2010. Ever since then, several other diet books and cookbooks with flexitarian titles have been published. However, Blattner stated on her official website that her own experience from studying dietetics and nutrition at the college and graduate level prompted her to spell out the importance of compassion for a person's body, less judgment towards self and others, and ridding individualism, which often takes the center of people's dietary choices. Various flexitarian diet plans have been developed, but two of the best known include Blattner's Flexitarian Diet. In 2010, Blattner, in her book, suggested a guide to losing weight and introducing plant-based eating and reducing meat consumption. She recommended a calorie consumption of about 1,500 calories daily, divided into a 3, 4, 5 plan, 300 calorie intake during breakfast, 
400 calorie intake during lunch, 500 calorie during dinner, and two 150 calorie snacks. The timing of the meals may be changed to suit the schedule of the dieter. She outlined specific recipes, and they all required not more than five ingredients. Blattner provided what she called, flex swaps, which allows the dieters to include small amounts of chicken, fish, or meat to the vegetarian recipes. The flexibility of Blattner's approach to food choices, enabled dieters follow and sustain this eating regimen. Flexitarians are free to adopt Blattner's sample recipes while including more plant-based foods to their meals at their own pace. Also, they can follow the Blattner's three stages approach to eating less meat. She outlined that beginners of the flexitarian diet can have two meatless days a week with not more than 737 grams, 26 ounces, intake of meat or poultry during the rest of the week. Advanced flexitarians can go for three to four days without meat and can consume not more than 510 grams, 18 ounces, of meat or poultry on the other days. Expert flexitarians can go meatless for five or more days per week and consume not more than 255 grams, 9 ounces, of meat or poultry during the other days. Blattner asserted that her flexitarian diet is based on five food groups, fruits, vegetables, dairy products, whole grains, and the alleged new meats, such as lentils, eggs, tofu, peas, beans, and nuts, and seeds. However, in moderation, the intake of sugars and spices like agave nectar sweetener, dried herbs, salad dressing, or alcohol is allowed. In addition, Blattner recommends a minimum of 30 minutes of physical exercise per day. How popular is the flexitarian diet? During the 2019 Best Diet Rankings, organized by U.S. News & World Report, the flexitarian diet was ranked number three in the Best Diets Overall category, based on long-term health and disease prevention, and number two in Best Diets for Diabetes. It was equally ranked number two in the Best Plant-Based Diets, only behind the Mediterranean diet. The flexitarian diet also bagged the second position in the Easiest Diets to Follow category in 2019, since it is less restrictive, making it easier to follow and maintain over a long time. Regardless, it is difficult to determine the exact number of flexitarians in developed countries since various less restrictive diets exist and may qualify for a flexitarian diet. However, the Institute of Food Technologists IFT, reported that within one year of publishing Blattner's book, the number of people who identified as either semi-vegetarians or meat reducers increased significantly, while the number of strict vegans and vegetarians remained low, and made up about only 3% of the United States population. Globally, strict vegetarians and vegans are at loggerhead with their opinions of flexitarian diets. Some consider the flexitarian diet to be cheating or a violation of the moral reasons typically adopted for avoiding meat consumption, such as animal rights, objection to factory farming, objection to killing animals for food, and environmental concerns. Still, other vegetarians and vegans see a reduction in consuming animal products or meat and increasing the intake of plant-based foods as beneficial and healthy. Celebrities are the principal promoters of the meat-reducing trend. Most people, such as athletes, moguls, Academy Award winners, and even some former first ladies of the United States of America, have publicly affirmed to be flexitarians. The flexitarian diet is popular because people reduce their consumption of meat for several reasons, such as personal health reasons, economic reasons, environmental reasons, etc. Scientists have asserted that reducing meat consumption can help to inhibit global warming. A recent study revealed that one-third of all emissions come from food. This is linked to animal products since plant-based foods are more sustainable than meat, eggs, or dairy and are usually easier to grow and groom locally. Most of these celebrities have vouched that eating more plant-based foods can be significantly beneficial to health, including managing weight, reducing the risk of diabetes, improving cardiovascular health, and boosting gut health. They also posit that one of the reasons to follow a flexitarian diet is its flexibility and a variety of different foods groups to choose from. This diet can include full vegan days or meals or simply replacing animal protein with the desired plant protein instead. Below are some celebrities that are flexitarians and have helped to popularize the flexitarian diet. I Katy Perry. This pop star has been a committed and dedicated flexitarian for several years. 
However, she has stated that she has increased her plant-based intake and doesn't eat most of the time healthily. 2. Michelle Obama. The former first lady, Michelle Obama, has urged everyone to eat healthily, and she made this clear by tending vegetable gardens at the White House and making efforts to improve school lunches. Apart from being an author of Becoming, she is equally a star in her cooking show that is centered on helping inspire kids to eat and follow a more colorful and balanced plant-based diet. 3. Serena Williams. 23 Grand Slam tennis icon, Serena Williams, has been mainly eating plant-based meals for years. She was an early and ardent supporter of the plant-based food brand, Daily Harvest. She is often consuming plant-based meals when competing. Fresh fruit and vegetables, especially leafy greens like kale, ginger, wheatgrass, coconut water, and sprouted whole grain bread, are some of her favorites when performing. IV. Jay-Z. Hip-hop's first billionaire adopted a flexitarian diet not only for his health but also for the planet's health. Though he has invested in impossible foods, the plant-based protein brand renowned for its burgers that looks and tastes like beef, he does not follow a strict vegan diet and prefers a regular plant-based breakfast meat-free Mondays. V. Snoop Dogg. His journey to eating more plant-based foods popularly began when he watched a video clip of how his favorite fast food snack was produced. V. Martha Stewart. The American retail powerhouse, writer, and television personality, published her best-selling vegetarian cookbook in 2013 called, Meatless, and its flexible recipes encouraged readers to adopt a plant-based diet. 7. Beyoncé. At the Coachella, 2018, she revealed that her physical endowment or transformation and glowing health were linked to a vegan diet, but a 2020 interview with a personal trainer, Marco Borges, in The New York Times, had clarified her adherence to flexitarian diet when he said she eats a plant-based breakfast daily and doesn't consume meat on Mondays. 8. Oprah Winfrey. The renowned talk show host and entrepreneur renounced beef consumption after she learned about mad cow disease during her talk show in the mid-90s. She is a huge fan of healthy eating and growing fruits and vegetables at her home. She's equally an investor in Dr. Andrew Weil's True Food Kitchen, which emphasizes healthy, seasonal, plant-based food items. X. Tom Brady. This NFL quarterback has seven Super Bowl wins under his belt, and this flexitarian eats healthy and cares about his well-being. Despite several misconceptions about his diet, the superstar sportsman follows the simple 80 20 principle. Tom's eating a plant-based diet is common knowledge since fruits and vegetables are high in essential nutrients, fiber, and enzymes, and athletes need to nourish and energize their bodies. Thus, he restricts it to a small portion while eating some meat and increasing vegetables and grains instead. X. Jamie Oliver. This ardent flexitarian and celebrity chef associated his three-stone weight loss with swapping to plant-based proteins in the run-up to his 40th birthday. He was confident that eating less meat helped him sleep better, and it was helpful to the environment. He equally released a meat-free recipe book called, Veg, which includes dishes that Jamie claims to make him feel complete, energized, comforted, and whole. 11. Arnold Schwarzenegger. The action film star and former California governor, became a world-class bodybuilder in the 1970s. At the same time, on a meat-heavy diet, but in recent times he has swapped meat consumption for plants. 12. Giselle Bunchen. The Brazilian model, actress, activist, and businesswoman's diet is mainly plant-based with little meat and dairy. She and her husband, Tom Brady, a Super Bowl star, have credited their former personal chef, Alan Campbell, for changing their diet and lifestyles. In her 2019 book, Lessons, My Path to a Meaningful Life, Giselle wrote that she fasts intermittently until lunchtime, two days per week, since the body takes a long time to digest foods. This supermodel is a massive fan of ginger, vegetables, morning juice from fruits, turmeric, and coconut milk. 13. Adele. When this award-winning singer and songwriter revealed her seven-stone weight loss in 2020, everyone became interested in knowing about her secret. She followed the CERT food diet recommended by her trainer, emphasizing foods with high, sirtuin activators, which regulate how the body processes fat and sugar. 
She ate kale, oily fish, buckwheat and drank plenty of green tea with regular exercise. As a result of the flexibility of diet, she can still include her desired cheese and red wine. 14. Ali Riley. This New Zealand footballer is a Women's World Cup champion, and she has 129 international caps, country appearance. Apart from being a sportswoman, she is also a certified health coach studying integrative nutrition with the hopes of optimizing her football performance. Ali Riley uses her platform as a professional athlete to promote healthier lifestyles. Her food blog is loaded with simple vegan and vegetarian recipes that show the readers, fans, and visitors how delicious, healthy, and nutritious a switch to plant-based can be. 15. Ricky Gervais. A comedian, animal lover, and certified cheese lover, Gervais has been flirting with veganism since the start of lockdown during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a passionate animal rights activist, he uses his fanbase to popularize the plant-based eating ethos. 16. Ali Raisman. As a legendary and veteran gymnast, her priority has always been to stay healthy. The Fierce Five member, Ali Raisman, has six Olympic medals and several other awards. Nonetheless, ever since she moved on from international competition, her dietary choices have changed too. After seeing documentaries on animal farming, she decided to switch to a more plant-based consumption for ethical and environmental reasons. Her love for fresh produce has also prompted her to grow vegetables to add to her salads and smoothies. 17. Chris Hemsworth. The Thor, star and the new face of Hugo Boss Sustainability have been a massive fan of following vegan diets to improve health and the planet. He even followed a vegan diet to be in shape for the role of Thor. He has also launched CenterFit, a personal fitness application that helps people meet their health goals. The application, CenterFit, has a lot of plant-based nutritionists and experts. 18. Brad Pitt. The Academy Award winner applauded the Golden Globes in 2020 when the awards ceremony dinner was 100% vegan. Brad is an avid environmentalist who has been popularly known for promoting a plant-based diet because of its lower emissions. At some point, he even urged the people of California to vote for legislation that would offer more protection to farm animals. 19. Leonardo DiCaprio. The Academy Award winner and activist has invested in vegan companies, including Beyond Meat. The movie star recently urged his 37 million followers to limit meat consumption at least once a week for the planet's good. In 2018, he joined Brad Pitt in calling on voters in California to pass legislation that offers protection to farm animals. XX. Gordon Ramsay. The hot-tempered celebrity chef, Gordon Ramsay, was popularly known for his strong dislike for veganism. However, in 2018, after encountering vegan celebrity MasterChef, the popular meat lover, Gordon Ramsay, decided to give a plant-based diet a try. Today, he credits his frame to eating just five small flexitarian meals daily. 21. Venus Williams. The seven-time Grand Slam tennis star gave up eating meat, eggs, and dairy to save her life since the tennis legend has an autoimmune disorder known as Sjogren's Syndrome. She curbs this autoimmune disorder with the help of a plant-based and whole foods diet. Recently, she also launched her own plant-based company called, Happy Viking, and its first product was a vegan protein shake inspired by her favorite after-workout recipe. Like her sister, Serena, she still occasionally eats animal products but mostly plant-based food to optimize her health. 22. Simon Cowell. The music mogul gave up his favorite sausage rolls and hamburgers after a terrible fall prompted him to re-evaluate his unhealthy lifestyle in 2019. He initially started with a plant-based diet to prepare for his 60th birthday. However, the X Factor presenter restricts meat, dairy, wheat, and sugar intake but still eats fish. Use and purpose of the flexitarian diet. A flexitarian diet is a semi-vegetarian approach to eating that encourages less meat and more plant-based foods. Since there are no specific rules or guidelines, this makes it an easy-to-follow option for people who intend to limit their intake of animal products. Thus, the flexitarian diet may benefit personal health and the environment since reducing meat consumption can help preserve natural resources by lowering greenhouse gas emissions and land and water pollution. 
A review of the study on the sustainability of plant-based diets found that swapping from the average Western diet to a flexitarian diet, where meat is partially swapped with plant foods, could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 7%. Eating more plant foods will also spike the demand for more land dedicated to growing fruits and vegetables for human consumption instead of livestock. Studies have shown that cultivating plants requires lesser resources than rearing animals for food. Developing plant protein requires 11 times less energy than producing animal protein. The flexitarian diet involves a vegetarian dietary approach, with occasional consumption of meat or fish. In 2017, a study asserted that a flexitarian diet might improve metabolic health, reduce body weight, blood pressure, the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, and combat inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's disease. The International Food Information Council has also outlined several potential health benefits associated with the flexitarian diet. Some of them includes, promoting an adequate fiber intake, which can help with digestion and absorption of nutrients. It can also lower a person's risk of developing cardiovascular disease, while helping the person to get essential vitamins, sufficient vitamins, and minerals through their diet. This is also in in tandem with the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, 2015 to 2020. It also recommends consuming fruits, vegetables, dairy, whole grains, and a range of protein in high or appropriate quantities. The Eat Lancet Commission, a group of scientists from 16 different countries, stated that a flexitarian diet might be more sustainable than diets that are high in consumption of meat and other animal products. A 2018 study equally suggests that following a flexitarian diet can help people lower their impact on the environment. This study also notes that eating meat in moderation can prevent nutritional deficits that most people experience when following a vegetarian diet, including zinc, iron, and vitamin B12 deficiencies. The flexitarian diet is a semi-vegetarian way of eating since it adopts a plant-based diet's basic principles and benefits. Still, it allows an occasional inclusion of some animal proteins. Don Jackson Blattner, RDN, a Chicago-based author of The Flexitarian Diet, created this diet, a book that inspired the diet fad. The flexitarian diet includes some vegetarian staples like tofu, quinoa, fresh produce, and other vegetables, but no foods are completely restricted. The concept of flexitarianism isn't equivalent to lazy vegetarianism. Instead, it is an approach that actively advocates a reduction in meat consumption. As the name implies, the diet is flexible, but there are various guidelines about the quantity of meat a person can eat. If a person gets confused about ounces of meat to consume per week while on the flexitarian diet, Following these guidelines may be helpful. Beginner. Consume 6 to 8 meatless meals, in a total of 21 meals each week. Advanced level. Eat 9 to 14 meatless meals, in a total of 21 meals each week. Expert. Eat 15 plus meatless meals, in a total of 21 meals each week. Blattner designed these guidelines, which differentiate the flexitarian diet from other eating plans that allow meat consumption, such as the omnivore diet. Though a flexitarian prioritizes the consumption of vegetables, omnivores prioritize the consumption of meat. Blattner's regimen can be followed at an individual's pace by slowly including meat-free meals or full vegan days like Meatless Monday or Tofu Tuesday. Rules of the Flexitarian Diet The benefits of vegetarianism are equally enjoyed in this diet, which is why the flexitarian diet is often recommended for people puzzled about vegetarianism and sometimes for former vegans or vegetarians who may have experienced nutritional deficiencies of eliminating meats and other animal products from meals. A flexitarian diet is also a great option for people who want to follow a healthier lifestyle. It emphasizes consuming a plant-based diet without eliminating meat and other animal products. The flexitarian diet is based on the following principles. Focus on getting protein from plants and not animals. Focus more on eating fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Be flexible and occasionally include meat and animal products in the diet. Eat more of natural and plant-based food and less processed foods. Limit the intake of added sugar and sweets. Due to its flexible nature and emphasis on what to include in meals rather than restrict, the flexitarian diet is a popular choice for people looking to eat healthier. The designer of the flexitarian diet, 
Don Jackson Blattner, highlights how to begin the flexitarian style of eating by including specific amounts of meat per week in her book. However, adhering to her specific recommendations is unnecessary to begin the flexitarian eating patterns since some people may eat more animal products than others while following the diet. Generally, the goal of this diet to eat more nutritious plant-based foods and reduce the consumption of meat or animal products. Similarly, Western Oregon University has an easy outline for people interested in beginning a flexitarian diet and using 21 meals per week, and they recommend the following. I beginner. Between 6 to 8 meals a week without meat. 2. Intermediate. Between 9 to 14 meals a week without meat. 3. Advanced. Between 15 and more meals a week without meat. Backquote foods to eat on a flexitarian diet. The flexitarian diet emphasizes consuming whole or less processed foods, such as fruits, whole grains, vegetables, and plant-based protein sources. When following a flexitarian diet plan, an individual can regularly eat foods such as whole grains, fruits, vegetables starchy, non-starchy, and leafy greens, protein sources beans and legumes, nuts and seeds, except the highly processed nuts that contain salt or sugar, water, and unsweetened drinks, seasonings like dried spices. The following food groups that are allowed on the flexitarian diet, fruits, apples, oranges, berries, grapes, cherries. I. Non-starchy vegetables greens, Brussels sprouts, green beans, carrots, bell peppers, and cauliflower. 2. Whole grains buckwheat, teff, farro, and quinoa. 3. Starchy vegetables corn, peas, sweet potato, and winter squash. IV. Proteins legumes, tofu, tempeh, soybeans, and lentils. V. Herbs, spices and seasonings oregano, cumin, thyme, basil, turmeric, mint, and ginger. V. Condiments apple cider vinegar, salsa, nutritional yeast, reduced sodium soy sauce, mustard, and ketchup without added sugar. 7. Plant-based milk alternatives coconut, hemp, unsweetened almond, and soy milk. 8. Nuts, seeds, and other healthy fats avocados, walnuts, flax seeds, cashews, chia seeds, almonds, coconut, olives, pistachios, peanut butter. X. Beverages sparkling water, tea, and coffee. However, when occasionally including animal products in the diet, the following meats and animal products are allowed. Meat grass-fed or pasture-raised. Eggs free-range or pasture-raised. Dairy organic from grass-fed or pastured animals fish wild-caught. Poultry organic, free-range, or pasture-raised. Foods that should be limited when following a flexitarian diet. The flexitarian diet asserts a reduction in the amount of animal protein people consume. Thus, people can include protein and fat from animals in the diet, but it should not be regular in their daily meals. Again, other foods whose consumption should be limited when following a flexitarian diet may include trans and saturated fats, highly processed foods containing excess sugars or salt, and refined carbohydrates, such as pasta, white pieces of bread, or rice. The flexitarian diet encourages a reduction of meat and animal products consumption and limits highly processed foods, refined grains, and added sugar. Therefore, foods and food groups to reduce on a flexitarian diet include added sugar and sweeteners donuts, cakes, soda, cookies, and candy, fast food fries, chicken nuggets, milkshakes, and burgers, refined carbohydrates some pastas, white rice, bagels, white bread, croissants, processed meats, bacon, bologna, and sausage. Why is a flexitarian diet a great diet alternative? The flexitarian diets emphasize plant proteins and other whole or less processed plant foods while reducing meats and animal products. The flexitarian diet allows a variety of whole plant-based foods, emphasizing the consumption of more plant and less animal proteins. Thus including animal products in the diet, it is best to include wild-caught fish, free-range eggs, grass-fed meat, and dairy. The flexitarian diet suggests that a beginner starts with two meat-free days of the week, followed by four days of being meat-free until the person can only eat meat once a week or less. 
The meals in a flexitarian diet can be a combination of fruits, vegetables, and plant-based protein. Despite its flexibility, the overall goal is to reduce meat and animal products consumption. The flexitarian is widespread and a great diet alternative because of its flexibility, giving rise to the name. When following a flexitarian diet, a person can eat vegetables and be healthy while also incorporating meat in the diet from time to time. The financial, health and environmental benefits associated with the diet also make it a great diet alternative. Several food groups in the flexitarian diet can also be found in the ultra-healthy Mediterranean diet, which shares a similar structure. As a result of its similarity to vegetarian diets, most of the health benefits linked with a flexitarian diet include lower blood pressure, lower risk of stroke, and heart attack. A study has speculated that if everyone were to stick to a flexitarian diet, at least 5.1 million records of deaths could be prevented by 2050 since eating fewer portions of red meat reduces the chances of becoming overweight or obese. Thus the less red meat a person eats, the better their heart health, blood pressure, and cholesterol level. Several health benefits have been linked with vegetarianism, but occasionally incorporating meat in a diet can provide the essential protein and nutrients from animal products on a much lower scale. That is one of the things that makes a flexitarian diet a great option. The flexitarian diet has the added advantage of leaving less carbon footprint. Thus, eating less red meat prompts pastoral farmers to produce less, which helps to produce fewer greenhouse gases. Research has shown that at least 80% of greenhouse gases are linked with livestock production. A flexitarian diet is a great alternative because it can save money, food, and water for pastoral farmers who will no longer have to produce more livestock to match the demand for meat. WHO should use the flexitarian diet? The ideals behind flexitarianism are simple and emphatic on eating more of a plant-based diet and little meat and other animal products. For health and environmental reasons, anyone can follow the flexitarian diet. The flexitarian isn't restrictive and can be sustained for a more extended period by its dieters. A flexitarian diet could be a significant dietary change for some people. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, only 1 in 10 adults in the United States eat daily recommended fruits and vegetables. In 2017, a study also discovered that only 5% of adults and children in the United States consume enough fiber from their diets. However, most people whose dietary choices and pattern of eating are more in line with the 2015-2020 dietary guidelines for Americans may have some challenges with following a flexitarian diet, while those consuming higher amounts of carbohydrates, fats, and animal protein may benefit significantly from making minor adjustments. The flexitarian diet is for all and emphasizes the consumption of plant foods, but people can still include animal products sparingly in the diet. This diet aims to minimize individuals' impact on the environment by reducing their consumption of red meat, fish, dairy, and packaged foods. A sustainable flexitarian diet can still include these products in more minor or moderate amounts while emphasizing whole, less processed, and plant foods. Still, there are guidelines on how many animal products a person can eat in a given duration while being sustainable. A flexitarian diet is optimally an excellent dietary choice for an individual's general health. A study exploring sustainable diets has asserted that people who follow a vegetarian, pescatarian diets that include fish but no other meat, vegan, and semi-vegetarian diets have an overall 12% lower risk of mortality than people who eat meat and animal products. Like most dietary changes, various people may find switching to this more sustainable diet easier if they gradually approach the step-by-step -step process. Making a significant change all at once may be highly demanding and may cause a person to go back to old habits and previous diet if they cannot keep up with the new changes or challenges. Therefore, the easiest way for people who intend to reduce their consumption of animal products is to have one day of the week to specifically eat only plant products, just like the famous meat-free Monday approach. Also, people can slowly eliminate foods by beginning with the most miniature sustainable food or food groups. How safe is the flexitarian diet? Since a flexitarian diet doesn't eliminate any specific food group, it doesn't make room for any health risks when it is followed appropriately. Technically, this diet could consist of only pastries and cereal with an occasional serving of chicken or beef.
Still, Jackson Blattner stated that it is not only about eating lesser meat. It is more about eating nutrient-rich foods. Factually, eating less meat can have potential side effects, especially if a person doesn't substitute beef with nutrient-dense foods and plant-based protein sources. A study published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association suggests that a poorly planned or designed vegetarian diet may be deficient in essential nutrients like protein, calcium, zinc, vitamin D, iron, vitamin B12, and omega-3 fatty acids. Alternatively, researchers have stated that a well-designed flexitarian eating plan can prevent undesirable effects and nutrient deficiencies. Unlike strict vegan and vegetarians' diets that eliminate consumption of fish and dairy, the flexitarian diet can meet an individual's needs for protein from occasionally eating meat, fish, or dairy product which provides vitamin D from milk, calcium from milk and cheese and yogurt, zinc from seafood, and omega-3 fats from seafood and fatty fish. In a flexitarian diet, all food groups can be eaten in moderation with various non-animal sources of essential nutrients. In 2018, a study found that people following a flexitarian diet may be susceptible to eating disorders. It also stated that people who struggle with this diet might be easily given to depression. A review of the research on vitamin B12 deficiency asserted that all vegetarians are at risk for a fault including 62% of pregnant vegetarians and about 90% of elderly vegetarians deficient since vitamin B12 is only found in animal products. However, based on the number of animal products a flexitarian chooses to include in the diet, a B12 supplement may still be recommended. If you are enjoying this video, please, subscribe to our channel. Subscription is totally free. By pressing the subscribe button. Also, hit the notifications bell so that you will always be notified of new content on our channels. Flexitarians may equally have lower scores of zinc and iron since these minerals are mostly absorbed from animal foods. Though it is possible to get these nutrients from plant foods alone, a flexitarian needs to plan their diets to achieve this. Nonetheless, most nuts, whole grains, seeds, and legumes also contain iron and zinc but adding a great source of vitamin C to the diet is the best way to increase iron absorption from plant-based foods. Still, some flexitarians may have to reduce their dairy intake and settle for plant-based sources of calcium to acquire adequate amounts of this essential nutrient. Plant-based foods that are rich in calcium are kale, chard, bok choy, and sesame seeds. Furthermore, flexitarians should strive to get enough omega-3 fatty acids, usually found in fatty fish and seafood. Plant-based omega-3 and alpha-linolenic acids ala, sources, such as walnuts, chia seeds, and flax seeds. When following this diet, it is best to remember that it is flexible and leaves room for consuming varying amounts of meat and other animal products. Therefore, when the diet is planned appropriately and incorporates a variety of whole foods, then nutritional deficiencies can be prevented. Additionally, people can seek support from online communities, friends, family, and health professionals when following the flexitarian diet. Consulting a dietitian before starting this diet can enable a person to make a swift transition to it. The flexitarian diet may not be appealing to all. Still, it can help a person reach or maintain a healthy weight and prevent certain health conditions risk factors when followed appropriately. So, eat right. Eat wisely and be happy. Here ends this video on dieting and weight loss. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series. Food is medicine. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Goodbye. See you again soon.